You're welcome. I made that for my mom. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not part... hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. No. School's hardly worth walking to. Mom should date literally anyone else. Wait, isn't that a socket wrench right there? You deaf or just lazy? You said you needed your socket wrench. That's the 5 8 inch. I need the 13 16 inch extension, which is in the set, which is in the garage, like I said. Unbelievable. Whatever. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. By toolbox, did David mean this? Or did he meet? There's his stupid socket wrench set. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> 
See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign carbon of carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. How you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? I don't think I'm smart. I just think you're stupid. Because, obviously. Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Then I hope you're a better plumber than you are a mechanic. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. Doesn't the Constitution say no soldiers quartered in civilian homes without consent? Because for the record, I do not consent. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. Country music. <laughs> I'd love this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my love. What a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerk bot. This... this isn't right. If Mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Picking up my lover from the grocery store
the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Whatever. You're welcome. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking... Do you want to go together tomorrow? No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Ugh, Nathan in tights. Can't unsee. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Eh, well, at least not for now. It's nice that Elliot always wants to do stuff with me. I just haven't been in the doing stuff mood lately. See you in class. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicapped parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw a Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great! Nothing wrong Before we had lips 
sudden touching Couldn't help but think that anything I've done Now I got something wrong You know we got something wrong What did you think? That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Miss Grant. The least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Morning, Miss Grant. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good. But instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support but apparently, our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups, like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Nah, fuck that. Something's definitely missing from that totally blank. Last night's show was too epic. Firewalk forever, bitches. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Uh, but fire's so pretty. I 
would prefer to wake and bake. But hey, to each their own. The future needs excellence. The future's an asshole. Ugh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's Cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life of a real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy.